congratulations on another nomination as a cast for the, for the, for the office. I mean, y'all here so often that we don't even know if y'all security or, or nominees. Oh uh, no, no, we're nominees because you know security. They you know they have on a little bit more jewelry than we do. You don't get to get the champagne. You don't get the champagne until later. Yeah. Yes. How does it feel? I mean, does it does it ever get old or? Or to, ask me in eight years if it gets old. So far, it's not old yet. Still loving it. How about being in, in a in a show that's had so many recurring seasons? Does I mean does does the script still like excite? Do you look for different stuff in the show, or does it switch up? Um, I think every week you look for something different in the script, and you try to add something to what you're given, and that keeps it from getting old. Yeah, so. A little bit different, you know. Now with Steve Carell leaving, how, how, how? I mean, what can we expect from the show going forward? Uh, you're going to see more craziness in the office. Uh, we're going to spend a bit more time outside of the office than we had, you know, previously. We were inside more, so you'll get to see us in different habitats. So it should be fun. She is. Thank you. Thank how does it feel to be here, nominated by your peers, and to be here with all these great actors and? I just enjoy it. I just enjoy it. I enjoy, I enjoy the weather because it's, it's horrible in New York right now. I get to go back tomorrow, but um, yeah, I just have fun. Who are you excited to, to see tonight, though? I, I, I love The Help, and I would love to see the whole cast of The Help uh, just win everything that, that they're nominated for, especially Viola. Absolutely. Category she's in. And, and can you tell me, like, when you got your first sad car, your, your story about when when you first got SAG qualified? Oh man, I, I think I got my SAG card like 2003. Uh, I, I was lucky enough. I was lucky enough that, that I won one a couple of years ago, so that was exciting. I, I, I cherish that that trophy. I have no one to show it to, uh, but and uh, I, w I was happy that I was able to come out here and and hang with my dear friend Kim. Hello. When did I get my SAG card? I don't even, it's been so long, I don't remember. That's what's scary. I'm Tell sitting going, year. Tell when was, year. I don't on, remember what year. It was probably 80, 88, 89. I've been in this game for a while, Kevin. I've been in this game for, probably, not, I, I'm 50. I just turned 50. I tell the truth. 5 0, deal with it. 5 0. 5 0 and beautiful. Probably 89, 90. All right, Black Tree TV, I got a special treat for you. I got nominees for. Best cast in a drama series. These these wonderful actors from Boardwalk Empires. How are you guys doing? Great. Good. Good. Great. What y'all most excited about this year? On the on the. The SAG Awards. The SAG Awards. I like this kid. He raises his hand. They taught me that in school also. So what's the hardest part about acting in Boardwalk Empire? And uh, 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 all these good hands. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with this guy. Oh, the long days and. Sometimes it can take maybe three to four hours, and others it can take eight to twelve. Wow. Did they feed you on set? Yes, they do. And the really tricky thing about it, it's hard to memorize your lines. All right, Mr. Almost, you know, you've been an actor. You've been a staple for, for a lot of years. As a, as a Latino American, how do you think the, the roles have changed for you guys? I mean, you're in, in Dexter now in a lot, of, a lot of roles, but when you came out, we... We see you in more maybe stereotypical roles of Latinos. Do you think it's like been a, a progression for for the opportunities that, as an actor? No, the Latin uh, Latin situation here has been very strikingly underrepresented. We're we're more than 16 percent of the population, and less than two percent of the images that we see on film and television. That's a really distressful. It has not changed. It's gotten worse. Is it, is it the the writers or the producers, or is it just a collective of a lot of issues that's pre that's preventing? That? It's, it's a it's a combination of understanding of the need. There's no need they think that it's uh, you know for for a Latino uh, story. So that's what has to change, and that will change. It's going to change, and when it changes, it's going to be a tremendous experience for the non-Latinos to experience storytelling that way, like they did in La Bamba, like they did in American Me, like they did in Selena, like they did in uh, Mi Familia, and you know. I, I, as a fan, would like that also so I can learn more about the culture and the different stories of this, uh, seeing you in one light. But thank you for your time and congratulations.